queen once hid in the back of a tree at Buckingham Palace to avoid murderous Romanian dictator Nicolae Soescu during his landmark state visit to the UK, royal historian Hugo Vickers told us. Before we continue, please if you are new here, just take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button to get amazing contents. Queen Elizabeth II, 96, missed the country opening of Parliament for the first time in nearly 60 years on Tuesday. It came as the monarch, who celebrates her platinum jubilee next month, continues to experience episodic mobility problems. In Her Majesty's absence, her son Prince Charles read the Queen's speech in the House of Lords, the first time in two centuries an inheritor to the throne has done so. The ceremonial address was once largely centered on the financial system as the kingdom continues to emerge from the coronavirus pandemic. Although the Queen's speech sets out the government's agenda for the subsequent year, Her Majesty does not comment on political things herself and is predicted to remain politically neutral. During her 70-year reign, the Queen has rubbed shoulders with thousands of politicians and world leaders. One of Her Majesty's most great encounters came in 1978, when she hosted the murderous Romanian dictator Nicolae Soescu and his spouse Elena at Buckingham Palace. The Queen apparently took a dislike to the tyrant and hid behind a tree so she would not have to talk to him, according to royal historian Hugo Vickers, who mentioned some of the most iconic moments of her reign in an interview with us. The expert, who is aware of Her Majesty personally, helped plan her last three jubilees and has helped promote the Platinum Jubilee. He said. She's had President Idea Min to lunch, she had Nicolae Soescu staying. That was now not a success. Of course, what she's very good at is, if the Foreign Secretary says, we want President Soescu of Romania to come on a kingdom visit, she will entertain him exactly the same way as everybody else. But I appear to have in mind he used to be digging up the floorboards due to the fact he thought the vicinity was bugged. On one event he was strolling in the garden, and she noticed him coming, and disappeared behind a tree very quickly so as not to have to hassle with him much. The weird moment is stated to have happened as the Queen could see the Soescus coming her way as she walked her gorgeous in the palace grounds. During their visit to the UK, the couple were greeted by the Queen and Prince Philip at London's Victoria Station. The trip used to be the first time a communist head of state had made a kingdom visit to the UK. Soescu reigned over Romania as president from 1965 to he was overthrown in 1989. Under his brutal regime, lots of humans were killed and the country was plunged into economic hardship. A decade on from his meeting with the Queen, he and Elena were executed in the Christmas Revolution of 1989. The couple were swiftly tried at a military tribunal where they were found guilty of mass homicide and different crimes. Mr. Vickers claimed the Queen is well used to meeting all kinds of people. He said. She behaves faultlessly on these occasions. The royal professional claimed that Her Majesty takes meetings with humans she dislikes in her stride. He said. I don't think I ever knew which particular person they were speaking about however at one point, one of the personal secretaries didn't prefer her to meet some villain head of state. And she said, well, I meet mass murderers and tyrants, or whatever the expression was, each day of my life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments section and please subscribe.